Hey, I'm my crypto big brothers and sisters. This here is Bulldog Rod, and I got Papa Ron over here. And we got some exciting news to bring to you today. JP Morgan just got busted. It's exciting <laughs> news. You know, these guys have been uh, crying all along about how uh, Bitcoin and all that's nothing but a fraud and it's a bubble and this and that and negatory and just a bunch of naysayers. And um, <laughs> anyway, folks, when we saw this article, we thought, yeah, we got to get on and, and, and do a quick little clip on this. It's yeah. pretty good. All uh, And it's out of... Uh, it's out of um, Zero hedge. So we just saw it yeah. about a half an hour ago, and yeah, it's JP, interesting. Go ahead, Rod. I'm going to increase. Said, yeah. Okay. Well, I was just said that uh, that uh, zero hedge reported on this. I don't know if it's been reported anywhere else. I haven't seen it. Have you, Ron? I did see another one on one of the news stations, like CNBC, one of the oh. major news. TV stations, I saw a title and I looked over and it was by CNBC or one of them. So yes, it's starting to get out right now. Oh, good. Let's get it out there. <laughs> Folks, basically what happened, this guy in Idaho, and his name is Mr. Tucker, um, Bradley Tucker in Idaho, was using his Visa card to purchase, and his Visa card was from J.P. Morgan, to purchase cryptocurrencies and back in January JP Morgan came out and kind of stopped all that and said no we're not allowing that procedure anymore and uh, so when Mr. Tucker got his bill um, they treated those purchases for that week he had made four different purchases within a five or seven day time frame rod and they treated those as a cash withdrawal type um, entry. Oh my Can't think of the term. So they gave him a cash withdrawal f um, fee. Interest which, rate. Well, the interest rate, yes, the interest rate was twenty bucks, but the um, the cash withdrawal fee was one hundred and forty three. Just like if you go to the bank and use your Visa to get cash instead of just charging something, they they yeah. put a fee on there, so they charge him an extra one hundred and forty three. Well, he said, screw you guys, I'm getting an attorney. Based yeah. on the fact that any time a bank changes their criteria for that charge card, they have to notify you in, in writing. Um, and what's that called, Rod? Um, Rod? <laughs> <laughs> so Good anyway, they he, don't notify you. That's Rod. Well, yeah, I guess there's a... Oh, come on. It's, um... Damages? No, it's what, it's what, it's what the term... Statutory? Statutory damages? What are you looking for? Okay, right here. Um, it says here, it, it's called the Truth in Lending Act. Oh, the Truth and Lending, Truth and Lending sure. Act, which requires yeah. credit card issuers to notify customers in writing of any significant change in charges or terms, which they did not do. He got an attorney, and he's suing for a million bucks. Oh, and uh, yeah. you mentioned, Rod, earlier that this could easily turn into a class action lawsuit. Oh, sure it could. You bet it could. Because you bet there's either hundreds, if not thousands, of people that this same thing happened to. You bet. Um, I, I hope he wins hands down. They'll probably try to settle this. but And I hope people jump on board. And, and I'm going to go back and check some of my charges on my... Uh, and I and I watched that pretty close, but I'm just wondering if I missed something on... Because I've charged crypto on a card, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So if someone got a charge, maybe they ought to do the same thing this dude's doing. Well, this Except article... probably get more in a class action lawsuit. Or maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it'd be better to get it uh, in an individual. By yourself? Well, he yeah. actually has the um, the actual docket. The full docket is printed in this article. So we'll oh, put the... Oh, wow. 
we'll put the article in the description box so you could probably just hand this to your attorney and he can just copy and paste your name in there and <laughs> run with it baby <laughs> we're not saying to do that <laughs> don't, don't get us wrong we're not saying to do that <laughs> that's a joke we, we thought it was funny that this happened and that it is a really a big joke for for uh, Chase or or uh, J.P. Morgan, whoever. She owns Chase, Chase Bank, is that right? J.P. Morgan, don't they operate Chase? I think they do. I think, yeah, I think they do. So it's a Chase uh, credit card. So. Anyway. The, this is, this is <laughs> just good, good to deal. see that, that uh, there's a little repercussion for all their naysaying and everything. And um, it's good that somebody took advantage, not advantage of this, but that they went out and said, yeah, this ain't right. They got to follow the rules. Just like just I like do. Just like anybody else. That's yep. right. And when they come up with a new policy, they better make it compliant the way it should be. That's right. Well, folks, truth we just wanted to share. Go ahead, Rod. Just truth and lending. That's all it takes. These guys got to follow the rules to it. They think they're so above the law. Well, Which they, they Well, <laughs> yeah, we like to think they're not, but they actually are. <laughs> 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 Same with all these dang crooked politicians and all of them. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. I only want to do it. go to freaking war, like you said. Uh, anyway, that's another story. We appreciate you folks coming by. Anything else you want to add, Ron, before I close it? No, that's it, baby. All right. We've Stick it to us. This, this was a short and sweet one. And thumbs up if you like it, because we want to bring you the news as we find it. <laughs> <laughs> God bless.